Today, we're discussing arguably the best tool in Seven Days to Die. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Seven Days to Die is a survival crafting game, and in order to survive and thrive the zombie apocalypse, you are going to need resources. And you'll need to harvest those resources as quickly and efficiently as possible. So today we're going to discuss the tool that will allow you to harvest the greatest amount of resources in the shortest amount of time. And of course, I am talking about the auger. Now this tool is arguably the best tool in the game. So today we're going to take a closer look at the auger, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's start off with the good. The first major benefit that the auger has is that there is no stamina required in order to wield the auger. Unlike some of the other mining tools like the pickaxe, the auger will not drain your stamina. That means you'll be able to mine a whole lot longer without having to take any breaks, meaning your mining time will be spent much more efficiently. The next major benefit benefit of the auger is its ability to hit so fast. Even a level one auger with no mods attached will do about 110 block damage per second. That is crazy fast. However, if you get yourself a quality six auger, get it fully modded out, that bad boy is going to deal over 200 block damage per second. That is in insane. And that's just the tool itself. Now, if we add on Miner 69er, your auger will be dealing 150% block damage. That means you'll be destroying blocks left and right. And if we add on top of that, Mother Load, your auger will be able to harvest double the resources. Oh, and it gets even better, ladies and gentlemen. By completing the Art of Mining book series, your auger will gain a 20% chance to one hit any or block. You will be swimming in resources in no time. The benefits of the auger cannot be overstated. This tool is absolutely awesome. But now let's discuss the bad. The first downside to the auger is that it is a motorized tool, which means you will need gasoline. However, once you have an auger, gasoline no longer becomes an issue. All you have to do is find yourself a desert biome and you will have infinite gas. There is oil shale everywhere. And at the rate that the auger harvests resources, you will have oil shale galore in no time, and you'll never have to worry about gasoline again. The next downside to the auger is that some players do find it hard to get their hands on one. However, there is another really simple fix that will solve this problem. What you want to do is get your better barter up to level 3 as fast as possible. Once you've obtained better barter 3, you should start finding augers in the trader's inventory. I would highly recommend players get their better barter up to level 3 as soon as possible. And now let's talk about the ugly. It is undeniable that using the auger will quickly increase your heat map, especially when mining metal. That means before long, you will have to deal with screamers. Once your heat map percentage goes above 100%, a screamer will be spawned into your world to come and check out the area. If she sees you, she will start screaming and invite all of her zombie jerk friends to an impromptu and unwelcomed party. And you are the guest of honor. But trust me, folks, this is one party that you definitely do not want to attend. Dealing with screamers when using the auger is an inevitability, but there are a couple of simple tricks that I'm going to give you that should make dealing with the screamers a lot easier. First, you want to mine as close to bedrock as you can. Since you have yourself an auger now, it should take you no time whatsoever to dig down to bedrock. You can create yourself a simple little tower of blocks, line those blocks with a ladder system in order to get in and out, and you're set. By mining close to bedrock, you will not have to deal with the screamers up above.
love. Which leads me directly into tip number two. Give yourself multiple exits from your mind. So as you see here, I've dug straight down to bedrock, created myself one entrance, and if we follow this one tunnel all the way down to the end, you'll see that I've built another entrance to this mine. Now all I have to do is go down one of the entrances, mine up as many resources as I want in that area, head down the escape tunnel that I made, and use the second entrance in order to exit the mine. That way when the screamer comes to check out the area surrounding your first entrance, you go out the second nowhere near the screamer and head on out about your merry business. So yes, screamers can be rather annoying and kind of hinder your progress a bit when using the auger. However, if you plan ahead, you can mitigate that annoyance. In seven days to die, you need a whole lot of resources. And having the ability to harvest those resources as quickly and efficiently as possible will give you an advantage at surviving in this game. And in my opinion, the absolute best tool to use to harvest resources quickly is the auger. This thing is an absolute beast. It hits like a ton of bricks extremely fast, requires absolutely no stamina, and with the right mods, perks, and books, it'll allow you to harvest more resources than you will know what to do with. Now granted it does have some negatives, but those negatives can easily be mitigated. I would highly recommend that all players get their hands on an auger as soon as humanly possible. Now if you'd like to learn about some of the other tools in 7 Days to Die, Click the box in the top right corner of the screen to check out my Equipment Tutorials playlist. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you in the next one.